<laughs> oh yeah, you're good at that, Kimmy. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, nope, I just want to eat. Wait, our colors are freaking cute. Look. Oh yeah. Look, we're all wearing past like oh, different like, shades yeah, of the yeah, pastel. Yeah. So adorable. <laughs> Actually. Okay. You wanna do it on your phone? Sure. I'm so lazy. <laughs> I don't even like, know where I put my phone. phone. I, I don't know. Oh, it's back there. Oh. My phone's in my room too. Hello. 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 <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Alright, fine. 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 I'll take okay. a photo. You want me to take it? Or you got it? I think I got it. How long did you nap for? One or two hours. Maybe two hours? Do you nap? Oh my god. None of these. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> That's crazy. Have you listened to TFT this whole time? Uh, I was setting up my mic and I took a shower, but yeah, TFT the entire time. Oh my god, it's Celine! That's so weird! <laughs> She's playing footsie with me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, pretty good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> mm. Oh wait, let's take it again. Selena's mid blink. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, my arm is burning. Okay. There we go. This meat looks great. No. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome everybody. How's Finally. the audio? Good? Yes. How is the audio? Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome. Welcome Shh. back. Shoot. Dude, I didn't bring... <laughs> Someone wanna get... You wanna get like a... What should we use? Butter? Oil? Oh. Just to grease it the first time. Either uh, olive oil or butter. Butter? Okay, butter's in the fridge. Thank you, Chewy. Oh, these are hello plops. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm gonna make... Oh my god, it's already Congratulations, hot. Kimmy and Celine. Oh! Yeah, congrats! Yeah. I was watching. We knocked up that... I mean, what? <laughs> we... <laughs> we got a girlfriend and got two babies within like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? <laughs> Can you imagine if it's real time? Oh my god, that would be so much easier. Are you kidding me? What? I, Hello? I don't want to be pregnant for nine months. Oh, true. Yes? So crazy to me. This is well, this is actually so cool. Yeah. Wow, all this food I can't eat. That's no webcam gonna be okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna not use it, so I'll just Originally we're gonna have a close-up cam, but then there's no way of doing that without cutting someone out. <laughs> so it's not used. Yeah, it doesn't need to be. Okay. Well yeah. right. where's the mail? Oh. Gonna make corn cheese. Oh, you put mayo on it? Yep. A Whoa, little really? Bit. Yeah. That's how the corn, you know how that it has that creaminess? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's mayo. <laughs> so like that. Wow, I, I didn't I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that that's how you did it. Yep. Mix it with mayo. Every time I see corn cheese, I think about fed. Does he like it? Yeah, he loves corn cheese. He loves the corn cheese. Yeah, go ahead. Ow. Okay, what shall we start with? There's ribeye. Oh, uh, shall probably one of the Kobe ones. You got Kobe? Or Wagyu, whatever it's called. Oh my god. Alright, we'll do this one. It's 
Uh, Angus beef prime chuck roll slices. Oh, this looks amazing, Aria. You like went <laughs> all out buying it. Hell like, yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Someone um, donated 50 bucks towards <gasps> it, so I was Yay! like, I upped my, my budget Thanks, by $50. Guys. What the heck? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Gumi. Corn cheese. You know. Wow, this looks amazing. <laughs> so soft. Hell yeah. Okay, there's like multiple sauces. Mmm. What are your guys' favorite sauces? I love the sesame sauce. Me too. I mean, yeah. Sesame is the best. Oh, grab it. Isn't this this? No, no, that's sesame. Oh, oh, I like sesame. Yeah, oil. I like sesame. Oh. Oil. <laughs> Thanks for the 300 bits, Quantum Slip. Thank you, Quantum Slip. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for funding our meat. Oh my oh, god. It smells so like, good. I want to show the camera how like freaking juicy this is. You guys can see it, right? It's so, it's like dripping with juice. <laughs> Yummy. So these are the other sauces for me. Hello. KBBQ at home is just the best. It's so much cheaper. You get so much more. Better bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. I like to not really eat today. Oh yeah, you went like straight for a nap after your yeah. thing, huh? Damn. All the time. Mm. Oh my god, you know what I want to do? I'm, I'm gonna take some mozzarella. Oh my god. This meat is so good. It's so soft. Mm. Can you do that? It is so delicious. Yeah, you can do that. And if it like goes onto the grill, you can just use it and just wipe it up. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Jojo Pa, thank you so much. Thank you for $20. Thank you. Oh, the grill's kind of loud. Oh, it's because the mic is like right here. Let's uh, carefully move this near yes, us. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, I don't want to put it over the fire. We'll just, uh, we'll just put it over here. Is that better? Like over there? We just can just like talk a bit louder. Hello? Test Hello? Test. <coughs> I need a KBBQ grill. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's really useful. I like it a lot. Oh my god. Have you tried it yet, the meat? Isn't it good? Mm. I'm like salivating, I want to try it so badly. Do it! <laughs> I'm gonna grab some salad. Cool. Oh, thank you so much! Kong. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's not my birthday, but thank Happy you. Happy birthday, uh, Arvia! Why is this a thing? Oh my what? God. You How come you didn't tell us? I can't wait. Your birthday, man. You're also extra. Oh my God. Not to be like dramatic or anything, but this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> right? It is so wow, good. It's like, it's like this juicy burst in my mouth. Mm hmm Like flavor and like, wow. This is so good. Oh I, my god. I, I need a spoon. I'm too papega for this. I really wish you guys could taste this. It's I need a so spoon. so good. Oh no. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm in love. 
The corn cheese is so good, Kimmy. Oh. Mm. Can you give me a spoon, baby? Oh. Okay, I'll get spoons. Mm. Mm. What? Are you gonna get it? Thank you. <coughs> Where did you get the grill? Um, I got this from, I think, Jojo Bud. Did you get me this? I think you did. Oh, the meat is so soft. Mm -hmm. It literally just pulls apart. So yummy. Hi, Keone. I think I did, yeah. Thank you. Hi guys! It's so good. My thumb chat. Say ah! <laughs> you can wrap it in lettuce too. This is so good. Mm. Oh, we have lettuce. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes. I have to go. Take some of this. Cole, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for the 400 bits. Making you salad. That's oh. the goal. I tend to do that a lot on my channel. Actually, <laughs> though. <laughs> so cheesy. Why do you do this? <laughs> oh, hot. It's so hot. Mm. Oh. So, how are you guys' days? What are you guys doing today? Um, tried TFT for the first time. I won my game. You won? Yeah. Wow. Very first game. I haven't even won yet. Oh. Still get their Kimmers. Well,. I just apply the knowledge I had with with Auto Chef because it's really similar. Uh -huh. But I'm a little confused with the the classes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know what counter is what yet, or if there even is a hard counter with anything. Hard to say. These are steaks. Mmm. Okay, this looks so good. Yeah, look at that marbling. Hey, Kimmy, saw your Twitch party with Janet, and um, aren't you glad you have food IRL? Twitch party? You mean Harvest, uh, Har you mean Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley. Marbling is oof. <laughs> I don't think I went to um, a Twitch party with Janet anytime recently. Oh, Stardew! I know we had so much food in Stardew and now we have food IRL. By the way. <laughs> I wish Janet was here. Me too. I know! <laughs> she would love this. That'd be so much fun. Mm hmm. Happy birthday, Kimmy. It's not my birthday, but thank you. <laughs> I'll it's take not it my anyway. birthday, but thank you. I'll I'll take the happy birthday wishes. Those are so silly. Do we have scissors? Yes. Oh my god. Lettuce. Oh, it's for this. Oh, these these are huge. Oh, cut them in half. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Mmm. Turn up the heat a bit. Is this what it's like to live with Aria? Mm -hmm. <laughs> welcome! Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Happy three months. Alright, let's pepper and salt this side. Mm. 
Yeah. You're probably eating out the least if you live with me. I try my best to have food readily available. <laughs> mm -hmm. These might be a little salty. <laughs> Yay! How do you guys like your steak? Um, yeah. Uh, I like it, uh, well done. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm not fed. <laughs> well done? <laughs> oh no, god forbid. <laughs> no, I like it medium rare. Alright, this can one will you, be the medium can rare. Can you believe that Fed actually gets his steak well done? I don't believe it. He like, I'm like, no, he's trolling. He has to be trolling. I think he's trolling. There's no way. How is he ruin a perfectly oh. Oh. great That's piece a little steak. blue, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You like it rare? I like it like bloody. Wow. I like hearing it moo, you know? <laughs> Have you ever had like live food before? <gasps> Gabe, thank Five you! Thank you! Thank, thank you, you, Gabe! Wow! How is it? A bit of a jaw workout. Still gonna cook it a little more. <laughs> Have you ever had like live heart? No. Oh, like, like a, a snake's heart? Yeah, mm -hmm. it like, it like uh, when you eat it, it's so fresh, it's still beating. Is that something you would like? I've never had something like that, so I'm not sure, but I do like heart, like, cooked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Gabe, has been holding that piece of lettuce for the past five minutes. I, that was just waiting, you like, know? Mm, like we should put dinner like meats on. Looking longingly. Alright, let's see. Kobe style beef. Let's do it. Yum. U.S. Wagyu Kobe beef. Tuck roll. Oh my god. This looks so good. I need tongs. I'm not good enough with <gasps> Five gifted subs. Oh, Sanchez. Sanchez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Okay. Yeah. Your girl is really bad at chopsticks. Just letting you guys know. Arya is. Do you want me to hold on to? I think I got it now. I have any of it. Somebody said Arya is so kind and generous to her friends. Ah, hard to agree. Too kind and generous. No, no, no. I just, I just want you guys to enjoy. Make me happy. Apologize ahead of time to the vegetarians out there. <laughs> this must be a little difficult. Oh yeah, these meats are done. Thank Welcome. you. 
Thorny Graph and Coer, welcome. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Oh, no, oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Man. I like really wish Twitch could have this. Mm hmm. Yummy. Mmm. <sighs> First leg, thank you so much for 10 months and expect. Thank you so much Yay, for 10 months. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Mmm. Twitch panel where she cooks for the crowd. That's actually my goal, is to act to have a demo, mm. or like TwitchCon or something, and then cater a bunch of the smaller version and everyone can taste it. I think I've seen that at TwitchCon before. I saw like a chef, a little setup for a chef. Really? Yeah, and they were like cooking in the middle of TwitchCon. What? Yeah, maybe that's something you can I wanna actually do. I want to do that. Do that'd be so yeah. good. I need connections. <laughs> RBWS, thank you so much. Welcome, 14 months. Welcome back for 14 months. Are you deeper than Moppy or the Academy? I can't play favorites. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> Selene's my spirit animal, just not and keep eating. <laughs> we all had a long day, guys. Mmm. You guys like this? I got it at E3 at the Catherine Full mm -hmm. Body booth. <clears throat> that game looks scary. But interesting concept. 200 bits, thank you. Ah, got the macaroon. Yay, I'm glad you got it. Thank you, Quantum Sleep. I'm actually a goat. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Goat. That's is that what it means? Yeah, that's what it stands for. In which case, I agree. You I are had no goat. idea. I thought it just was like, you're such a goat. Like, I don't know. I thought goats were in or something for a bit. <laughs> oh, man. Goats were in for a bit. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mind blown. I just thought goats were in. Goats are trendy. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, Kimmy and her meat and cheese. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I'm glad. I mean, no. You wanna come up and sit? Come here. Are you a ram? Oh yeah, I'm a ram. <laughs> Is your birth year a ram? No, dog. Oh, a dog, dog, dog. And Celine, you're a dragon, right? No, she's a dog as well. Wait, really? You guys are the same year? Yeah. Oh. Dogs. It's a dragon. dragon, like really far off. Oh, I don't know. Celine, <laughs> I mean, Kimmy. I don't know the order. What are you? Monkey. Monkey? Monkey. After her is the rooster, dog, and then, uh, then pig, pig, rat, rat. I think it's like, uh, pig is no. after monkey? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. I don't know anything. No, no, me, no. What are you guys? Pig is after dog. What's your zodiac sign, guys? I'm an ox. I'm a snake. <laughs> rooster, horse, rat, ox, ox. Oh, multiple, mm. oh, multiple rats too. Rooster. A lot of roosters, a lot of rats. Yeah. Horse, boar, <coughs> dragon, dog, tiger, pig, rabbit, dragon, dragon. Oh, we have quite a few. A cheetah? What the hell? Yeah, I haven't heard like, I'm 2000, so dra 
2000 is the year of the dragon? You thought we were 2000, Kitty? No, look, he says, uh, the, one of the guys in here says, I'm, I'm 2000. Yeah, and you thought we were a dragon, or you thought Selene was a dragon. Oh, 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 Selene, no, no, you're I didn't 2000. Know. I didn't know. 2000. You know, 2000 babies are 19. You think Selene's 19? I could, I could I believe I mean, that. yeah, yeah. I could believe, like, all of our friends are 19. No. Selene we opens her mouth, I'm like, nope, she's like 40. <laughs> When we start streaming, okay, it's because like the reversal process is like is like kicking into effect. When you start streaming, you're like you're like you know I'd say like mid twenties, maybe like late twenties, and then the more you stream, yeah. you like go reverse internally. That Your brain true. goes backwards. And you start just letting it happen. Yep. Kind of like YouTube. I feel like both audiences are just younger, and then we kind of go with it. I'm 19. <laughs> Lol. Mm. 19 year olds are six years younger than us. Wait. I thought Jamie was 21. She is four years younger than me. See this? Huh? He's playing with himself. Oh my god! Nino's so cute. He's just like wedged in this little like mouse pad. Yeah. He's having fun. looking really cute. Having fun, you know? So Nino. Yeah, honey. I'm 18. Mmm. Where's the kimchi? I wish I had some actually. Me mm. too. I didn't think about it. It's okay. The thing about kimchi is that like it, it, it the smell really does carry. Kimchi? Uh huh. Like my refrigerator always smells really. Oh yeah, kimchi. yeah, yeah. Okay. Mmm. Try this thin pork belly. Guys, look at this. This entire tray is four bucks. So worth. Oh yeah, and this one's five bucks. And this one's mm. like thick. Lots and lots of slices of ribeye. Where did you go? Uh, oh, Marukai? Like... Oh, okay. I, I've never been there. Oh, you'll love it, Kimmy. It's basically like the Japanese market on Sotel, but like bigger. Mm. We actually have that too. We have Nijia in like the village plaza. Then Marukai, we just like walk a bit. But... It's so good. Ooh. Yay. Oh, using chopsticks to cook with raw meat? I, I won't mean, die. Yeah. I'm fine. I don't care. I don't, I don't I, care I, like, either. I don't care. <laughs> I should care, but I'm, I don't. <laughs> Cross-contamination, hit me up. What's the worst that could happen? E. coli. Wait, is that really bad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, <laughs> she's on to us. <laughs> she's on to us. <laughs> Like, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, you know, you, you just die. <laughs> <laughs> Is dying really bad, Kappa? Don't say that, chat! That's DOS. That's against the Twitch. Is it? Like, I mean, I would assume so. I remember bringing up, like, when I was talking about life, and I was talking about, like, times where I was suicidal, and then everyone started spamming TOS. Mm -hmm. So I assume, like, I guess talking about it is not advised. Mm -hmm. I guess it depends on like the context as well. Mm. Like if you're just having like an open discussion. End of month bake sale. Yes, it's still happening. <clears throat> and someone asked when is Kippo going live? Oh, uh, we don't know the exact date right now. Cool. But if you check the app store, you can you can actually download it uh, from the app store. You just can't um, get in yet. This is part right? Yes. This one needs to be cooked fully. 
Tear up the heat a bit. The food is delicious. Yeah, Donald. pork is pork is a little bit more scary. Yeah. Pork and I think it's like chicken and then pork and then beef is fine. Oh, I thought it was like pork, chicken, and beef. Oh really? I thought pork was like the most like Oh. I thought I thought I guess pork and chicken are both really bad. <laughs> Never had KBBQ, you should try, it's so yummy. So with beef, it's only the outside, where like near the skin, that's mm -hmm. dangerous. Oh! Yeah, so that's why a lot of people can eat steaks like really raw, however yeah. the outside needs to be cooked. Got it. Um, that's why ground beef, they really advise that you don't eat burgers pink. Because the ground beef is the beef is ground. You don't know what's outside, what's inside. That's so interesting. People G yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, um, um. Wait, but then how about like um? Because like every burger place is like uh, yeah uh, medium rare. Yeah, it's not advised. Really? Yeah. People still do it, but technically mm -hmm. that's where the E. coli lives. We didn't coordinate our um, our outfits, actually. Yeah, we didn't. We so, just all have oh, pastel. Yeah. It's really yeah, cute. Yeah, very colorful. Yeah, so yeah. was like, do you guys coordinate your outfits? You guys look really good together. No. We actually did not. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god! We're actually the Powerpuff Girls! <gasps> Red, blue, and Ooh, green. Oh, and bubbles! Right? Blossom, Blossom and buttercup? Buttercup. Oh my god, that's so cute! That is cute. Oh, we should take a Powerpuff Girl picture. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> How would you take a Powerpuff Girl picture? Uh, I guess just to get... Oh, oh, I should have been Aria. Speaking of pictures we took together. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder if it's worth me logging my Twitter into my friend's phone so they can do stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> You got this! <laughs> Social media! Come on! It's like, it's been so long, it's like ingrained in my reflexes now. Okay, social media, social media. I'm like a, I feel like I'm like a robot with social media That's now. That's a good thing. It's like programmed in, into my brain. You're so good at it. I, I like feel like, I, after so many years of, of doing social media stuff, you kind of start to feel not as... Oh. It's more of a routine and a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. It turns into a habit. Is it good? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't want to try it. Yeah, it turns into a habit. Hakumi <coughs> Kayo. It does look a bit pink still though. Since it's just pork. Oh, I ate one of the edges. Oh, okay. Yeah. The one near like the center. It's so good. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. It's so good. Holy moly, guacamole. That's like Sara says, so good. So good. So this is good. So good. Honestly, honestly, so good. So good. Honestly, so, so good. So good. Mm. <laughs> wow, Sara, is that you? I'm meeting with two Scaras. <laughs> two Scaras. <laughs> Kogi, yeah, Kogi. Oh, hot. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This pork is so good, guys. This is the softest, most tender, flavorful pork. I wish you guys mm. could try this. It it's was like, so it's yummy. Like butter. It like melts in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I wish I was better at describing foods. No, you're doing great, Kimmers. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah. Mmm. We have a maybe on a guest for tomorrow. Ooh, okay. 
I thought it'd be funny if Jake and Bake and water, <laughs> and then we'll talk about like. Are they in the upbringing. area still? Yeah. He extended That'd be his trip. Yeah, because water's from like mainland China, China, mm -hmm. and then Jake is like white, yeah. white, white, and then we'll have our upbringing. Yeah. How did he get into this whole space? Yeah. Could you imagine Jake's like, my mom told me to go to my room. <laughs> I'm just being stereotypical. And then, yeah, I just got a whooping every time, so. That's it? Okay. Oh, you got a whooping? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, growing up, my parents made us choose our weapon from the kitchen drawer. <laughs> this is a plob cast, oh my but... God. Uh, topic, but and yeah. And she'd whack you with it? Yeah. <laughs> she would literally make you choose it, and yeah. she would whack you with it. I always went for the wooden spoon. Why? Because the chopstick hurt more. I don't know. Chopstick hurt more, and then she was like, you could choose the mallet, too, and I'm like, no, mallet's actually... Monka S? Is <laughs> she, she trying to tenderize you? You're lucky you gotta choose. <laughs> You're lucky you gotta choose. <laughs> actually... <laughs> I wish my parents were like, go to your room! Like, that's literally my safe place. And I could, like, play games in my room, so. I my parents just grounded room. me. They take away every single console. No! They told me to go outside. And <laughs> no! The opposite! They told you to go outside? Go outside with the friends. horror yep. hanging oh. out under the sun. <laughs> That's so funny. They told me to like go ride a bike. Ride a bike. And go outside and hang out with friends. Like the neighborhood kids. Yep. I love bike riding as a kid. Me too. I Dad, wasn't scared of like falling as a kid, you know? Really? <clears throat> yeah, I just like that's why I liked it, but now I'm scared of falling. Hey! My hey. dad forced us. Get out, you know. Get and then like chair. at the end every weekend. I'm sit on um, you. We would go to Stanley Park and rollerblade. I'm gonna sit on Oh, he actually doesn't care. No, he's like the most easygoing cat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you squished, man. It's okay, we can share. We can, we can share. Mmm, oh my god, pork belly. <laughs> so good. Mm hmm. Do you want to go for a ribeye now or more pork? Um, let's do. Honestly, I, I, both sound delicious. <laughs> let's do a little bit of this. did I usually have when I was younger? I don't, I don't really know. You were um, just angel your whole life. It's because I had I had an older brother. Ah. And I feel like with most families, if you have an older brother, they just like take most of the rebelling and stuff. Me! No, I even took, like, whenever my sister messed up, I would get the hit for it. Oh my god. Because it's god. like, why, you should have told her. You knew better. Blah, 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 blah. It's not her fault. It's your fault. Second child. Dang it. Look her dog! Yay! <laughs> yeah, my brother at one point was like, "How come she never gets in trouble?" Oh yeah! <laughs> like, yeah my mom. I, I say, say that angel. I say that all the time. Second like, child is a blessing. I'm always like, "You love her more." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my brother was always like, "Why does she get everything?" <laughs> I'm like, "What? <laughs> what do you mean? I am so innocent." <laughs> <laughs> Sisters always perfect at their hands. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. <coughs> Hello. But yeah, um, you, my older brother usually did everything wrong, and then I was the one that learned from it. So it's not that like it's not that I wouldn't get punished. It's just that I I knew what not to do with my parents. <laughs> Ah, yeah. 
And then I remember always being like, man, this is so easy. Why doesn't he just not do this? <laughs> That's my sister. Uh, you and my sister are the same. Yeah. And I was your brother. I think it's smart. Like, I think it's all perspective too, because like from second child's perspective, <clears throat> we grow up seeing the first child, the, the seeing our older sibling mess up. True. So it's like for us, it's obvious what you shouldn't do. But yeah. for you guys, you don't know. Awful. Right. But like, like it's not your guys' fault. I think at one point too, I knew too what was going on, but I couldn't swallow my pride. Yeah. So I would talk back. <laughs> and the worst part is like, justification of innocence is still talking back to my parents. They're uh -huh. so like, my parents are super, super, super Asian. So like, even if you're just like, but mom, like that's not what happened. Don't talk back to me. And it's like, but mom, I wasn't in the wrong. Don't talk back to me. But mom, it was actually a mistake. Don't talk back to me. Like yeah. you're, they just, like, want you to be wrong once they start yelling at you. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're innocent. It's true. See, so guys, I formed an alliance with my dad at a very, very young age. <laughs> this was the best move of my life. <laughs> oh, you're so smart. <laughs> Too smart. Once they start playing favorites, it's over. Mm. Oh man, this is so good. I'm getting full. <laughs> Eating so much. Don't you ever like kind of want to like eat like a bunny sometimes? Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant like eating like vegetables, carrots, <laughs> and then like <laughs> I turn over and I think you mean no, 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 no. <laughs> like no, like actually. No, I've never thought of that. <laughs> it makes what? me feel more in tune with, you know. Nature? No. Someone needs to <laughs> clip that and make it like a gif. <laughs> I can't. Kimmy is basically Emiru's bunny. Dude, I would trade lives with her bunny every day. <laughs> Same. Do you know how well she treats her bunny? <laughs> yeah. She's literally best bunny mom. Ugh. I also like eating like, like um, quinoa seeds and like. Uh, Did seeds? you just say quinoa? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Quinoa? <laughs> yeah, you know the little seeds. Oh my god. Quinoa? I thought those. No, I thought quinoa was something else. No, it's quinoa. <laughs> why would you spell quinoa like that? <laughs> Stomach's turning, not in a good way. Hi, Dee. Dee up. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi there. I also like eating like seeds, like a uh, little, like uh, edible human seeds, because it makes me feel like a bird. Human seeds? Yeah. What are human seeds? Like quinoa. They look like little seeds. You call them human seeds? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like seeds. <laughs> She cannot believe what is coming out of my mouth right now, but I'm telling you the truth. Do you know what human seeds are, Kimi? <laughs> what? <laughs> because seeds, seeds are grains, right? Or seeds yeah. are, they come from plants. Yeah. When you say they're human, yeah. <laughs> they come from humans. Oh my god, I didn't mean, oh my god, I did not mean that chat, and you know it. Okay, I'm 12. I. Uh, I, I meant like. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, you're digging your own I grave. Mean, plant seeds that humans can eat. That's what I meant by humans. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I like plant seeds. Why well, can't can you just say edible seeds? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I, like, I like edible seeds. Uh, okay. Human yeah, seeds. Well, technically, human seeds are edible. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Human seeds. 
I've never, never heard that someone say that. Ever in my life. <clears throat> Yes, Nino is very cute. Hi, Nino. Nemo. Just loves to join us in whatever we're doing. Oh my god, I think I'm too full for more meat. For human seeds and quinoa. Thanks for the 100 bits. <laughs> oh, Kimmers. Oh, Kimmer. Oh, you know what sounds really good right now? Boba. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I want Sprite or something too. <coughs> yeah. But I'm on keto. Yeah. Or you could get like tea and then we can put in or xylitol. Or sweetener. I yeah. Have xylitol. <gasps> really? Yeah. Or oh, a let's do it. Let's get boba. Yeah, let's get boba. Sorry, you guys can't come chat. Where did Kimmers even come from? I don't know. I think it was literally when I was like upset with something you said, like it, like trolley, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Kimmers, like. <laughs> It's like, it's like, you know, when, when, <clears throat> when you're mad at your mom, like, you're like, you could probably say, like, okay, mother, you know? Mm. Have you ever called your mom by her first name? No, it's not, it's not, it's like not an Asian it's thing. It's not a Viet thing for me. Have you guys? Like, is that weird? Like, hi, Rachel. <laughs> like, if that's your mom. I've never name. called my mom, mom. And I well, call her Oma. I mean, that's the same. I think that's the same thing. Like, it's like. Well, I don't have like. Mom in Korean. Oh, oh mother, Omoni. I've never said that either. Well. Yeah, I never called her by her first name. It's weird. It is weird. It's weird. My dad doesn't even call her that. Mm -hmm, really? I'm like, yeah. They don't I, call him by their names. I mean, what does your parents call each other? Tagia. Oh, that that's so cute. Like, dear. Oh Tagia. my god, that's so adorable. My my parents call each other honey. Even when they're like even when they're like peak so mad at cute. each other. They're so used to calling each other honey that like No my parents I always thought it was normal. My parents are like cat and mouse literally. So they fight all the time, so they call each other like What do they call? I think they just say mommy and batty. <laughs> mommy and batty? Okay, so batty is like a it's like a weird thing that we mix together because we call our dad ba. Or we say daddy. So then my mom mm -hmm. just goes, daddy! Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. It's like dad in two different ways. Oh, same? Okay, yeah. That, it's a Viet thing. That explains why you always say, oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Yeah, maybe. My parents have always, always called each other honey ever since I can remember. Oh my God, I've never heard them say anything else. You want to show him, Celine? Hi, ah, we got another member Hi, at the dinner table. He just sits there. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. He's a very good boy. No, lucky. One more bite. Me no lucky. <sighs> Me no lucky. Me no. Me no. Wait, wait, I got this. Me no. Oh. Mino. Mino is probably one of the <laughs> most cuddly, chill, yeah. dog-like cats I've ever met in my life. Exactly. Like, he does not feel like a cat to me. Nope. He's like so dog-like. He's a toy. He's <laughs> a little wag doll. Dude, can we say dog? Yeah. He's dog-like. Mm -hmm. If we throw toys and stuff, he'll like run to grab it. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. What kind of cat can do this? <laughs> ah, he's so cute. Look at him. This is not a cat. Oh, Mimo. You know, he was just so thankful that you saved him from the from the shelter. He was also born there. Mm. That could be why too. Being born there, they get exposed to so mm. many humans every single day, and it was one of those walk-in. Um, shelters too, where you can like go in and play with them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they were just exposed to humans every day. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> yummy, yummy. 
Who is Cal? Please educate me. Cal is um, his brother. Yes, Cal is a um, my very first cat that I adopted. But my boyfriend was so obsessed with him, bonded with him, and kept on asking me if he could have him. And eventually I gave in during my move here because I was just so stressed with everything. So I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe Cal would be better off with Johnny. And then as I settled here, I was like, hold up. And, or settled with Celine. I was like, I can handle another. <laughs> Anyone need napkins? I'm okay. Do you guys pronounce it napkins or napkins? Napkins. Where's the F? Yeah. Where's the F? My entire life, I've always said napkin. Napkin? Yeah, my, the, napkin? I literally just said, does anyone need some napkins? And then I'm like, napkins. Wait. Like, that literally is harder to pronounce than napkin. 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 What? I always thought, yeah, N A F. But. Where the hell did it go from? That's what I'm saying. Question no, okay. I always thought that. Um, it was N A F K I N. That's how I always what? spelled it. Yeah. When I found out that it was actually with a P, I'm like, what? <laughs> that was mind blown. Oh, that's like my cousin. She says, remember. Remember. It's like the weirdest thing. Every she will talk in sentences, and then she goes, "Oh, I remember that one time." I'm like, "Girl, it's remember." And she's like, "Remember," and I'm like, "It's over." Remember. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, remember. when I was younger. I was like an ESL. Same. If same. you guys know what ESL is, is English as your second language. Which I never understood because English has always been my first language. <laughs> Why were you an ESL? Yeah, well, my parents just put I me was an ESL. ESL. I feel like they just you, you 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 can be placed in it. We got tested. Oh, well, oh my, no! Yeah, it was oh like no! it was like a extra classes. My mom like my parents like literally put me into Very like these speech classes. Hi Toki, welcome back. Thank you so much for three months. Appreciate it. It was like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I was in it, but like I had a hard time pronouncing things, and I've never, oh. I've never known any other language other than English. Weird. Yeah. I had a hard time pronouncing super and sal salmon. Oh. Like I said salmon, salmon and um, I said super. No, Myung still says salmon. Salmon so. is is like normal. I think that's more normal. Salmon. Because that's just like an L being silent. Yeah. Type salmon. Of thing. Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> I say sorry differently. Sorry? You say sorry like us. She's Canadian. <laughs> well, sorry? because Seattle and Vancouver are so close. I would not be surprised. You I don't like say that. sorry. I say yeah, sorry. I don't, yeah, I don't say really? sorry. Yeah. I'm Wait. so sorry. Wait, really? <laughs> I say sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm like, sorry. I'm oh, okay. Sorry. The way you guys say it is like very like, it's like, not, it's subtle. So you don't like yeah. hear that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 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 Yeah. I spell I pronounce it like S A R. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. That's how Americans S A R Y. Sorry. 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 Can y'all say bag, please? Bag. 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 <laughs> Spot that, the Canadian. That bag how do you is explain so cute. salmon and salmonella? Salmonella. Maybe it's salmon salmonella. Sam Wait, is I it say salmonella? Is it salmonella or salmonella? I don't pronounce the L in sa salmonella. I, don't <laughs> I, I pronounce it salmonella. Sa no, sal salmonella. Salmonella. <laughs> Big. The way Arya says no, no. is very Aussie-like. Okay, that's be I, I, that's because I grew up <clears throat> obsessed with um, Bub's beauty. <gasps> oh. And Zoella, and just like oh, a bunch like of like our, yeah EU our, or like. Nerve? UK. How do you say it? I don't know. Nerve. No. Nerve. No. 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 Yeah. So I, I was just watching different accents. Mm. So I picked up on certain things, but yeah. <coughs> UK. UK. <clears throat> Soda. How do you guys pronounce soda? 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 Oh, is it because of like soda or pop? Oh, oh yeah. Do you say soda or pop? I would not know. Pop? I think right now. Back in when I was in Vancouver, I said pop. I was gonna say, I think in Seattle, I think I said pop, but oh. I then I grew to say soda. Soda when I came back down here. Boba? I. <laughs> no, I called it bubble tea. Yeah, boba is only a thing in California, I swear. Yeah, yeah, it's like, only California. I called it's it like, bubble tea. It's bubble tea yeah. or like pearls? Or milk tea. Yeah, pearls. Yeah, I was like, can I have it with. Uh, can I have pearls? And they're like, yeah. you mean boba? And I'm like, 
Yeah, okay, I come, okay, so I've always <laughs> never gotten the boba tapioca balls. So then I come to California and I'm like, can I get boba without the boba? I'm like, it doesn't Can make, I get it boba without the boba? <laughs> I'm like, uh, you should be, how, why is the entire drink called boba? Yeah, exactly. Bubble tea without yeah. the bubbles. That sounds better. I got boba without the boba. <laughs> boba without the boba? I've said that. I've legitimately said that. Actually, same. I got a milk boba tea without boba. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, American. I mean, I was, I was gonna say uh, American language. English is very papaga. Yeah, we like contradict ourselves with all these rules. Oh, I had that problem when I was younger. I used to say, "Why uh, do you speak American instead of English?" Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand that English was the word for the language. Oh, because yeah, yeah. like I speak Korean, I yeah. am Korean, I am oh. American, I speak American. Oh, that's how I speak American. That's how like I was thinking when I was like four years old. But then I learned that you're supposed to say I speak English, and I was like, where did that come from? Just I another. I am Chinese. Why. I speak Chinese. I am Korean. I speak Korean. Well, I guess Chinese is Mandarin, but or Cantonese, but or all the other dialects. <clears throat> this is another reason why English is really confusing. Okay, if I'm thankful about one thing in my life, it's that I never have to study English. I I have so much respect for people who learn English later on in their life. It's such a hard language. And everyone in the entire world speaks English. You know, my biggest thing about English was that because my parents didn't speak it at home, I mispronounced things in school all the time, and I was like very embarrassed, like all the time. Like, um, you know, for cars, you know, sedans. In Korean, it's called sedan, and so oh. I I said sedan, and my friends like started laughing at me. I was like, how do you pronounce it? They're like sedan. I was like, oh. Oh, that's like me and Canadian Tire. So Canadian Tire is like a Home Depot-ish area um, for Canada, and then I called it Canadian Tire. <laughs> yeah, because oh, of Canadian. Uh -huh. But it, like, no, but that's that's not anything. That's literally my grandma butchering it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandma just butchered it, and I was like. I said that to my friends and they're all laughing. Yeah, I'm my like, friends love to. Can I ding tire, dude? <laughs> can I ding? Can I ding? Can I ding? <laughs> yeah, actually, it sounds like that. That's so funny. How, How tall? tall is everyone? Five foot three and three quarters. Five foot four. Five foot two and three quarters. Actually, I'm five foot three and three quarters as well, but I, I think I grew a quarter. So I, I just say five foot four. Your hair is also always voluminous, though. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah. My hair is always so flat. Who's the shortest to the tallest in our friend group of all of all? Shortest? Who's Yvonne. Shortest? How tall is Yvonne? I think Yvonne, Yvonne is the shortest. Five, five foot, foot. I would two, say one and a half. Five, five foot. Yes, two. I think she's five two, five two. Mo. <laughs> Mo. <laughs> He's not that short, you guys. That's true. Mo's like five five or something, right? Yeah, Mo's He's like, like five six. I He's think. like the shortest male. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she did me. Mo's like a good five eight. I thought he was like 5'9". Yeah, I thought he was I thought, like 5'9". I think he's 5'9". Five five I think he's 5'9". Nine. Nine. He's like 5'10 with shoes on. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Five, let's, yeah, give yeah, him, yeah. let's give him 5'9 and a half. Yeah, I think I think Mo and yeah, he's not... He also has a really good like body proportion. He looks a lot taller. He has surprisingly good posture now that I think about it. He does. I feel like I've never seen him hunched. I think Fed could be taller too, but he hunches. Oh yeah, mm. bed hunches. Ever since Fed started working out, his posture's gone a lot better. Oh. He's always like, yeah, posture, yeah. guys, posture. I'm my po my posture's probably the worst. <laughs> I don't think so. I think all the girls have pretty good posture. Really? I, like, I have awful posture. My back is like this, and my stomach really? is out. Yeah, I'm I'm I literally you should when I'm like standing idle. Tell me to stand straight next time. You'll see I grow like two and a half to inches. Oh my I god! Legit, For me, I'm so I'm so straight. used to like bad posture because I don't I, I don't like this the chest eat region to like. Pull oh out. yeah! No, we every, both have yeah. that. So we, we both we, we, like I, I, Selena, I always like. <laughs> no, because we both had like chest from an early yeah. age. It's like really embarrassing as a girl. So like you grow up like this. Always, hunting. always like this. Always like this. So you trying to tell me you have bad posture because you don't want to show off. <laughs> 
I mean, it's like it's kind of true. It's kind of true. It's kind of true. I, I was always like hunched stare. over, like this. I've yeah, always same. had good posture. <laughs> Kimmy, <or> no, <laughs> no. Kimmy over here struggling. <laughs> okay, I think it's because I've always had very like, like flat shoulders and like a really like flat back. So like. That we all have flat shoulders and <laughs> flat back. No, 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 no. Some shoulders like are like okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Our bones are the same. No, or was, are you saying some are naturally arched up? Um, I some are like arched down more, or like more. Oh, like, like sloped shoulders. Yeah. Okay, sloped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to stay good posture. Oh, broad shoulders. Oh yeah. Yeah, broad, broad shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, okay, I understand that. This is so hard. Yeah, same. I feel like my lower back is like being crushed by gravity. I feel like I have something to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when, when when my back is straight and my chest is out, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know? It always made me yeah. feel really confident. I guess like good posture always made me feel put together. True. Whenever I have bad posture, it's usually when I don't feel put together. Yeah. Make America great again. Is that, is that Trump? <laughs> Honestly, I thought America was always great. So like, Shit, I don't remember who says what. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Trump said that. <gasps> oh yeah, Trump, right? It wasn't Obama. Shit, what was Obama? Uh, no means no. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's not Obama. One sec. Like, I don't remember. No. no. <laughs> TJ? TJ is oh, freaking taller. Tall. Is TJ taller than Edison? Yeah. I think TJ yeah. is taller than Edison. I think so. Oh, I think Edison's 5'3". TJ three. then Edison. Yeah. 5'3". I mean... <laughs> I Edison's 5'3", guys. Five three. <laughs> I, I, I got Edison. this! I'm taller than Edison! Wait, imagine Edison is 5'3". No, I can't. I can't. Oh I my can't. god, he would be... I cannot. If Edison <laughs> was Celine's height... <laughs> So putting him in Celine's body would, you know, change things a lot. I think. Make but it'd like, be cute. It'd be like a little Edison. Whoa. I feel like that. That's just we don't have a, a guy friend that that's that's that short. I I feel like I feel like people like step. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna lie. In high school, I, we had a short guy friend named Andy, and I remember. What's with you and Andy? It's the same Andy about oh, the mobile oh, one. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But anyways. We would we would always like nuzzle his head and put him in chokeholds because he we thought he was so cute Aww. and we would squeeze his cheeks. Andy pet the hands. <laughs> Not that one. He had a gross spurt. He's like six oh, okay, feet now. Okay, okay. Doesn't count. But yeah, the shorter guys always get the 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 cute card. You know, we automatically like you know just want to nuzzle him. I have like a guy friend who's like five five and he has the most like assertive like 
confident, authoritative personality, and I like hella respect that. He gets like oh. so many girls. Wow. I actually never met like a shorter guy who's like super authoritative. Yeah, so like when, when like, think they don't either. let it affect <clears throat> them, I, I'm like, damn. What if go. they come off like, like small dog syndrome? What's small What's dog that? syndrome? <laughs> like you, like uh, when you're, they're all all bark, no bite, and they they do it more because they're short, like overcompensation. Oh, overcompensation. Yeah. I feel like that affects everyone to an extent. Like everyone has something they overcompensate about. Ah. <coughs> uh. uh. What's a Napoleon complex? I think Napoleon complex is the same thing. Small oh, dog syndrome. Okay. Was Napoleon really short or like? I think he was smaller. I think uh. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't make it up. I swear I've heard it before. Small dog syndrome. I have I have Pomeranians. They need they need something to to describe the way they act around other dogs. Hi Lily. Hi Lily. Hi, Lily. I was gonna say I think you made it up. Small, Small dog, dog syndrome? syndrome? No, I swear. Look it up. No, 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 no. There's no way I, I did like not make it, it took up. The context of something. And then made it? No. Small dog syndrome? Small. Oh, it just sounds like something. Well, small small dog syndrome is a thing. Yeah! Oh, it is a thing? Small dog syndrome. If your small dog is scared or even aggressive towards larger dogs, this, this may be because they're fearful. Hence, seeing lunging, barking, and snapping at bigger dogs. Wait, that's like not the same thing, though. Well, it's like, it's because like... A small so, dog isn't supposed to like be like aggressive. Yeah. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's he not oh, supposed he, to. He doesn't realize oh, he's a small yeah. dog. Oh, yeah, oh, I yeah. gotta get it. I get small it, dog get it. Yeah. Phew. Yeah. <clears throat> My dog does that and he's small. Exactly. What does it have to do with humans? I mean, at the end of the day, we're all just animals. Miss human seed eater. <laughs> yes. Oh god. Ew. Okay, Ew. listen, listen, listen. I mean, you know, it like you know. We eat are. seed, oh god. Uh, you know. Bruh. Smart animals. Bruh. <laughs> Who sings this song? Bull four. B O L I mean, number four. Smart? Actually, I don't know. Like what smart? What? What do you find smart? Okay, we're not gonna go there today. Yeah, no. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something perma band make eleven two and eight. What do you call where the big dog thinks he's small? Oh. So that's Fat pu kid syndrome that you Yeah, like pu so puppy syndrome. Puppy syndrome. That's what you call it, yeah. Yeah. So for humans, that would be Fat or uh, fat kid syndrome. I, if you are in chat, have fat kid syndrome. I want to say I love you. Oh. I love all fat kid syndrome boys and girls too. Girls are so sweet. So basically, if you guys don't know what that is, it's that you were fat or just unattractive in your early stages of life that so was basically me. ugly duckling that was me. but then but then but then hear me out when you grow up lose the weight or get hot you still act as if you were oh, yeah, ugly like, because you're so used to being treated like upbringing. shit or you're so used to being you know in the shadows you don't have like a very confident type of personality it's not too much to do with confidence but more like the way you act like you're not an asshole pretty much Cause some pretty people know they're pretty or some hot guys know they're hot and it's it could be <coughs> so annoying to deal with i guess it's more like you're not <laughs> cocky or vague yeah you're not cocky people who grew up and like became like attractive later aren't very like full of them they're not narcissistic <laughs> yeah or they're not like as vain some do let cocky. it get to their heads not gonna lie i have met people that do let it get to their heads but the ones that don't fat kid syndrome <laughs> <laughs> I missed the step where I became hot. Can I get a refund? <laughs> I feel. I honestly do Hi, think Anna. that. Uh, Thank you so much. I honestly do think that image is more in 
people's control than they think. There's so many things you can do to improve your image. There's like... sure how you come off is way different than how you... Like, how you come off kind of drives how you look to others, I guess? Yeah, there's so many um, mental and physical things that you, that you can do to make yourself, you know, yeah, more attractive. Yeah, I don't know. Like, when I meet a really dumb person, I can't find them attractive. <laughs> <coughs> Wait, are you trying to- I'm not dumb, I'm not- I'm- No, no, no okay, I don't no, think no, you're it dumb. Takes a, it takes really smart people to, like, act dumb. That's true. Yeah. I don't think- <laughs> Look at the camera, the way you guys are looking at me. <laughs> oh no, why are people saying Fed? No. That's not dumb. That's not dumb. No. I don't think anybody in our friend group is dumb. Yeah. No. I, I honestly- do, I'm inclined to think that um, it's very hard to 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 keep up with life if you're like really. I think okay, so I think my definition of dumb is somebody who doesn't actively seek to learn new things. That yes. And if you are not actively seeking to learn new things, life is gonna be very unfulfilling to you, in my opinion. Unless you know, unless, unless you just like value different things and like you know power to you, but. Um, no, I think I think the way I define dumb is like people who don't want to become better at, at, like versions of themselves or like I'm allergic to complacent people. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm allergic to dumb people. But my definition of dumb just have money <laughs> for it. Not everyone has Come the opportunity on, to seek out learning new things. The internet. Hello? Oh my gosh. This, True. This age, True. everyone has like a free college degree, uh, free college education. When, when my dad has yeah. everything you want. When my dad grounded me like from my laptop, yeah. I went to the library and I like just read books. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot. Mm -hmm. That requires time though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't consider. I think then you're just lazy. Come on, bro. Well, I don't consider lack of academics dumb. That's just mm. lack of opportunity to learn or lack of mm. or yeah. choice to not exactly. learn. Exactly. So you can like find that opportunity through like libraries and Google and internet. And, like literally, there's so many different opportunities. Education is one path, but the world provides so many different yeah, options. Even space. networking with people, talking yeah. to with people, you learn talking so much. People. Libraries. Why are they saying? Oh, how do you guys pronounce library? 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 Is it like library? Library? Yeah, I know. So I know it's library, but I always say library. I, really? I say library. Li well, I don't library. say library. Library. <laughs> I always say li library. I, uh, I don't I care. Library. That's definitely something I'll never library. ever stop. Uh, so guys, I hate ours. Oh, you guys, that's a me thing. I hate ours. Library. 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 I, I literally say lie and a berry. Like a well, fucking exactly. edible berry. Oh, like berry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa Sai, thank you so much for three months in a row. Yeah, it's library. <laughs> library. It says so much library. easier. Library. 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 Okay, I don't say library. <laughs> library. <laughs> but if I say it fast, library. it's like library. Library. I'll take real How do you say, over do you say jewelry anytime. or jewelry? Jewelry. I, I think I, say to, I just say jewelry. 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 Yeah. Jewelry. 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 I hate the word jewelry. sorority as well. Sorority. 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 I hate hard R's. Ah. Okay, that. <gasps> sorority. Okay, yeah. Sorority. Sorority. Fraternity. That's what. That's actually sorority. what I went to. ESL fraternity. For. Yeah. Fraternity. Like I bleh, can't. I, fraternity. Yeah. L's too. I had a big problem with L's. You're you're so Korean. L and R are like the same. It's also a Boston thing, actually. <coughs> oh Boston really? Boston accent has hard like. We say ka instead of car, like coffee. And like, oh. and it's a very like a car. Yeah, ka. Got it. Nice car you got ka. there. Ka. Got a vroom vroom in my car. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> How do you say yellow? Yellow? Yellow. 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 Park the car. <laughs> Park the car. Park the car. <laughs> oh, actually. <laughs> Pack the car. Pack the car. Pack the car in high Okay, I need to stop. This is getting messy. Pack the car. I'm getting, I'm getting offensive. How do you say pronunciation? Pronunciation. 
pronunciation. Do you say pronunciation or pronunciation? No, I say pronunciation. 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 Give me some Boston. Enunciation. Boston. I I lived there for one year. All right, guys, let's get up. We know this song. We gotta dance. I don't know this song. I don't remember this song. (laughs) Sorry, all right. Terrible students. (laughs) Unbelievable. (laughs) Okay, I I got the chorus. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got it? No. All right. I don't remember a single there you go. movement. I lived in Boston for one year, and then right after I moved to Connecticut for for three years. So I I had four years of my childhood in in the East Coast. So that's when I developed the like, the speaking habits when I was younger. I think I kind of sound kind of Eastern. Eastern? Yeah, East Coastern. <laughs> I think East Coast people in like New Jersey talk different than people in Florida, though, right? Like people from the West Coast are like more like chill and laid back. They're by the beach, by they the have water. Like a more drawn people out. People the West voice. Coast walk slower. Oh yeah, LA is so chill compared people to people in LA East Coast. walk so slow. That's true. In New York, I was dying because people were just bumping into yeah. me and they're so fast paced. And they're they're speaking is very fast paced. Like Mo, like Mo's a good example. Oh yeah, Mo talks so fast. Yeah, he's he's very fast. He like, says like. Ten words in the amount of time yeah. I can say four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who else is East Coast? Jamie. Why does Joyce talk so slow? Guys? Okay, <laughs> Joyce is <laughs> Joyce is an exception. <laughs> Why does Joyce? Joyce is the slowest talker I know, and she's from New York. I have no idea. You know, Joyce is like Jamie said. Joyce is like the popular girl at school growing up. Yep. Yep. I can see that. She's just so chill. Like, everyone just likes being around her. So, I'm not gonna lie. Unless we're playing a competitive game of Stardew together, then she's not that chill. I noticed, I noticed chill. in, like, Vancouver, at least, who was popular was usually the girl with the longest hair and the skater bang and the fashion, you know? Like, people just really? gravitate towards whoever looked the best. It was very, very superficial as we when we were younger. I went to high school in sweats every day. Huh. Oh my god, I think my high school is superficial too. All the popular girls were really pretty. Yeah, same with mine. Like all our all the white girls. I never thought about it. They were just way. they all had the same blonde highlights. They had the Lululemon pants, they had the Lululemon headband, and then we were all like, oh my god, we can't afford that. I remember asking my mom for Lululemon pants and she's like, yoga pants for a hundred dollars! Like my mom was like not having it. That was not a thing for me. But, yeah. Uh, True? Yeah. What's Lulu? It's a yoga pants that every girl will have. The black yoga pants. Yep. Lululemon. And they're not even the best quality. I mean, they're soft, right? They're so soft and comfortable. I noticed, though. um, So, we have, like, a gymnasium, right? Mm -hmm. No! When they when you skid and you're on your knees, they immediately burn holes. Oh yeah, I don't think you're supposed to like. Yeah, you're not supposed to. <laughs> like you're not. Aria. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then these girls, they wear it to gym, like PE class, and I'm just like, what are you doing? And then they always mm. they get holes in them. And then they buy new ones. Yeah, but yeah, it's true. If I have a daughter, she gonna burn a hole in my wallet. <laughs> If she's anything like me, she's gonna like spending a lot. <laughs> oh goodness. That's why um, I just want one son. I want a boy. One boy. I kind of want a girl only to know what she'll look like. Not to raise her though. <laughs> I don't think I'll be a good mother. <laughs> just putting it out there. 
I think I'll be good with like cooking, cleaning, um, even driving them to school. That's fine. But anything like that takes patience and raising them and like you know being able to make the right decision, not yell at them. I feel like I definitely have my like I have hot. What is it called? Hot blood or like hot headedness? Hot headedness from my parents. For sure. Hot-blooded. This is what Hot-blooded. I think. I think it's a parent's job to provide food and shelter and education. See, that's me. And above that, you know, no matter how the parent acts, as long as they're like at the end of the day loving and caring, the child will, will figure it out. I like when they're older. <laughs> that's that's very hopeful, Kimmy. <laughs> that's very hopeful. I think like you will have to guide them at some point. Oh yeah, guiding Cult. for sure. Thank but you. In terms of like being like the Oh uh, yeah, like, you don't have eagle. to be yeah. perfect to be like a parent. None of our <clears throat> parents are perfect. I just hope the male I end up marrying will have a good head on his shoulders and do all the talking. Uh, I, I feel like I, I don't have patience for that. So yeah. I like children. I like uh, you'd be so good. Like, I like can I just kids. leave my kids to you? Babysit you can babysit them. Go, time to go to Auntie Celine! <laughs> I love kids too. Wait, you literally have three kids. Okay, pets are different. I'm. Have you seen me train them? <laughs> I'm literally tiger mom. Like, do you not, like, imagine I'm, if they could talk back to Aria? Aria would oh, not. I like. No, I'm very. I'm very strict. I'll also reward them when deserved, but I am. I am a uh, tiger mom. <laughs> Yeah, I think Celine will be godmother for sure. For sure. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Um, make my kids go to Ivy Leagues. You're Tiger Mom too! You're Tiger Mom too! I'm just too. kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think I'll be Tiger Mom with education. I'll just yeah. be Tiger Mom with, like, in terms of respect and, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have kids like, that are angels, person. thank God. Yeah, being a good person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's what matters at the end of the day. Ugly, ugly, ugly. I just want to be in the kitchen forever. I know, I'm actually a typical housewife. I actually just want to... Okay, my dream is yeah. to just have a house with pets and I never have to leave it. So I'm kind of there right now, actually. <laughs> Congrats on achieving your dreams, Kimmy. <laughs> I'm proud of you. But I want like a big yard and stuff too. Would you make your kids learn a language culture? I, I think so. I think my mom wouldn't allow it. For my kid, my kids not to know a little bit of Vietnamese. I feel like my mom would play a crucial part in raising my kids. Cause she I, loves kids so much, so she'll only speak uh, Viet to them. I am going to enroll my kids into like six language language classes when they're like in kindergarten because that's when they're too young to really know, to really like not like what they're doing. Like they're like so young, they just do anything, right? And they learn so fast. They learn like a sponge when they're when they're like kindergartens. So like kindergarten True. is like the time where you can like make them learn everything. And I I, I just want to like make my kids learn everything when they're in kindergarten. That's, and I'll be like, you'll think me in 20 years. The thing is my dad tried doing that with me in Japanese. Uh, my dad knew Japanese and he was trying to teach me and I literally was kicking and screaming. I'm like, I don't get this, this not ABC. Like, really? I was so, I was, I was so ragey about it. And now I regret it because I would love to learn Japanese now or learn yeah. at a young age. But yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> Cal can get in kindergarten. <laughs> I don't know, like, um. When Albert's I kid is gonna go through some things. Box, box. Why? Can't you just imagine, like, trying to teach his kid like algebra in like first grade or like calculus oh in first God. grade. I feel like I Albert's, can see him yeah. being like setting up like things and be like, do you get it? And then the kid's just like, ah! <laughs> He's gonna make it fun for them. He's like, this is a puzzle. Yeah. I can see Albert as a dad already. He kind of Same. already is a dad. Same. I can see him like as a dad. That's super cute. Yeah. Yes, I think so. so on the East Coast, it's like mandatory to learn like two languages when you're like in first grade. So in first, second, and third grade, I was enrolled in Spanish and French through my public elementary wow. school, and I held on to all of that what I learned, um, and until like high school, and then I did really well in Spanish. It came very easily to me. Wow, well, that that was yeah. me. That elementary. was me in middle school. We too. did Francais. Yeah. Je parle en français. So that's why that's why I'm a believer in like early education. Yeah, I, I do think it is easier yeah. when you're younger. 
I want, yeah. Liberty Babies, oh man. Scar's kid's gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna be Honestly? so good. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Scara's kid's gonna be born talking about keto again. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm proud of Scara for keeping up keto for a long time. I think he's off it now, though. Kimmy's kids are gonna talk about keto. <laughs> How long are you gonna do it for, you think? Only for like, I'd say like three to six months. Oh. Have you seen results already? Me not. I think I gained weight. <laughs> well, when you cheat, that's what happens. Yeah, I I was losing weight up until I started cheating, and then I started gaining weight. So I'm like, I should stop cheating. Yeah, yeah. So boba, if you, boba, if you, yeah, boba. If you cheat on keto, you gain weight like ten times faster. Yeah, yeah. it is. But the if worst. you don't cheat on keto, but I feel like everyone has to cheat and mess up to understand. Oh, okay, this is why I don't cheat. So now I'm like, okay, I'm so scarred. I'm like, I I'm not cheating anymore. <laughs> Ow. Thanks. That's <clears throat> They're gonna talk about Starbucks every day. <laughs> Honestly, Taylor Starbucks Swift is good. and Starbucks. I mean, Taylor yeah, Swift. I love Taylor Swift's new album, by the way. And she the new the and the next iPhone that's coming out. That's what Kimmy's kids are good at talking about. But that's not something to talk about. That's just like <laughs> daily routine, you know? That's just like something that. Oh, what a routine. You, <laughs> you get your a routine. Starbucks. It's a routine. We're not even a shirt. topic. It's a routine. Yeah, you have your iPhone. You don't talk about an iPhone. You just have it, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's actually really interesting. Just kidding. My aunt, I remember, she was so strict about like. Oh, I'm never going to introduce my kids to electronics or games or whatnot. I don't want them to get addicted. But then, lo and behold, I see both of her boys with iPads, and I'm like, "What's your logic? I thought you, I thought you were all about like, you know, not, not giving them what they want." And then she said, "See, the thing is, society has changed, where it is normal for elementary kids mm -hmm. to have iPhones and iPads and bring them to school even." And then what ends up happening is that everyone else has them and then your kids become alienated and they become mm -hmm. left out and like the losers of the bunch. Uh -huh. So yeah, she had to buy it for them just for them to fit in. Oh. And it's crazy how like that has changed. You know, true. interesting point about this though. Um, since, since young kids grow up on the internet, like Gen Z, right? Mm -hmm. Since Gen Z grows up on the internet, they never had to hide beside hide behind a persona because everything is so public. So what I've actually mm. been noticing in um, in the younger generation, Gen Z, is that they're actually quite respectful online. In like their comments, like TikTok comments are like very like wholesome and respectful if anything. They understand not to like call somebody ugly or something for like doing a makeup routine. They understand these social things because they don't have to like hide behind this persona because it's like I so ingrained that, in their childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no hiding. Like Everyone, they started everyone's off on, on the internet. internet. They started off together, there. right? Yeah. That's true. Meanwhile, we escaped. Yeah. To so here. like, I feel like Gen right. Z kind of, they're just really good at being themselves on the internet. If anything. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. I mean, not everyone, obviously, but I definitely thought that a lot of millennials definitely hid behind the computer mm. to say like negative things or like whatever, you know. Speaking of going back home and like just our our generation, do you guys have any like trinkets, doodads, old things that will give you like that, you know, blast of the past? Like a Game Boy or like, you know, oh, do you sure. keep Game things Boy. by chance? From like my childhood? Yeah, I feel like we should do like a show and tell day on Popcast Ooh. where we like bring a couple of things that were like oh, super that, like, nostalgic. Super to like us it could be like a blast of the past episode. That'd be cute. I think like that'd a be cool. throwback. Yeah, yeah, thing. throwback. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really cute. Yeah, because I have a crap ton of my stuff and then I was like, wait, this is a Game Boy Color and I like have like other things too oh, that remind me. You bring me. all of that stuff around with you? And it's under my bed. Yeah, it's a lot. Right now. And I have even more at my parents' place. Yeah, I probably don't like have anything, but I definitely can talk about things. You don't even at home, like where your parents' place. I have um, my Pokemon cards still, like all in the box. Yeah. And my Yu-Gi-Oh oh, cards. What? So I did ballet when I was younger, and I would oh. keep all my little ballet costumes. Oh, oh I'm gonna yeah. ask my parents if yeah, I can yeah, buy yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really we should do that. Yeah, whenever we go back home. 
We should make a trip to Vancouver slash Seattle soon, Celine. Oh, maybe that is why my posture is good. I did ballet. Oh, that makes sense. In first, second, and third grade. <laughs> I mean, I did Rushu, and our, our posture had to be straight, too, but oh. I never kept it. Damn it. <laughs> I held a Game Boy from, like, age four or five, so my posture is terrible. Yeah, I always put my Game Boy in bed. I had, I had the SP, and I also had the snakehead light. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little thing you yeah. attach, and it's like yeah, a for my Game Boy Color. Game light. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It was Game Boys didn't yeah. have in-game light until SP. SP. Yeah. yeah. SP was the first Advance game to have light. Advance was so useless. Advance was just like a wide screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like this way handheld yeah, instead scratch, of this way yeah. handheld. Okay, you know what my brother told me? When you got, when I got the Advance, it was exposed. The, ex the screen was exposed. Yeah. My brother was like, if you touch the screen, it'll decrease its resale value. So me being oh. young and impressionable, Oh. I spent the entire time, I never touched the screen to my advance once. Wow. Not once. This is, what older siblings, good. this is what older siblings do. <laughs> oh my god. I remember getting like so much anxiety when I was like seven. I'm like, oh my god, I can't touch the screen. I can't touch the screen. Yeah, no, my sister debates <laughs> me. My, my younger sister is the one that like makes me get into trouble or make me take the fall because she's like kind of the, the smarter one. Your younger sister? Yeah. Well, we're younger by like a couple months. Oh, okay. That's like, a I wouldn't think. Yeah, that's like a year. But. Hi, Jake. Is that leftovers? No, I mean, scraps. I put away, I put all the meat in the freezer. <laughs> Jake, fog. We're about to go get boba there. Boba! Let's boba. go! Boba! Alright, guys, we're gonna head out now. Thank boba, you so much boba, for watching boba, the mukbang. We should Hope do these more. Like, yes, I, I mean, I'd love to. Yeah. You know, like every Thursday, mukbang, every Friday, plopcast, and yeah. then every Saturday, Wednesday, TBA. TBA? Honestly, I'm also just down to play games if yeah. you want to play games. Like yeah. TFT, like sure. hit me up. Yeah, like, yeah, oh. I'm down. TFT Trio Q. Yeah. Board games? Yeah, even board games. I, <gasps> I think that'd be so board fun. Games. Board games make me angry. Oh. oh. Wait, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah, poor Peter. I get really competitive, but friendly competitive. Like, yeah. I don't get mad over it. Ever. Oh, no, I think, like, I think all... The reason why I find it really fun playing games with everyone in our friend group is yeah. that like everyone is like competitive to at least like an extent. Yeah, we're all gamers I actually, at the like, end of I actually day. really like playing games with competitive people. <gasps> really? I think, I think it's a lot because I just think it's a lot of fun. I love friendly competition. Yeah. Well, I love when people so much can be... It means that you're being serious you about the game, you know? You yeah, I agree. Seriously. I agree. And I appreciate that. I like competitive people. Oh, okay, yay. I always get nervous because I'm like, oh shoot, what if people think I'm too serious? And oh, I no, get a little nervous. No, no, not at all. But I just want to win. <laughs> but, yeah. No, everything goes in games. And then once the game's over, then it's like... Then we're like, yay, back to cuddling and, and hitting each other with pillows oh. and like talking about boys and then paint my nails. Okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. All right, bye guys. <laughs> See you guys next time. Tomorrow, podcast on oh. Kimmy's channel. Bye. 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 Oh, uh, if you guys have any questions or requests for the podcast, uh, definitely tweet them at me. Let Angels me know. Angels Kimmy. Yeah. Um, I'll be streaming tomorrow, so you can tell me if my stream is streaming. Bye. Yeah. Follow us at, at Ariyasaki, Angels Kimmy, and Star Smitten. Thank you for the bit. Yeah. Thanks, thank guys. You. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye, bye guys. <laughs>